Okay, ready. I, I need to understand. You trying to tell me with that man, Kevin Durant, the Slim Reaper, Easy Money Sniper, just mm, mm, mm. And with Kyrie Irving, who is box office. Now, we're not going to talk about the vaccination status and all that, but it's box office. They couldn't get past the Miami Heat. Now, I mean, you know I love Miami, but the Miami Heat? Or let's just say it's the Philadelphia 76ers where James Harden has not proven himself in the postseason? Why were we not on camera? Why was it just him? Hold on, how you hit a he on the high note in the box office? No, Stephen A, come don't on. Don't do that. Stephen A, <laughs> she lost, don't even she try lost, listen, that. Listen, listen, listen. It, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It wasn't bad. It wasn't Thank bad. You. But she lost me with the mm, mm, mm. No, I, no, I don't do that. That's number one. And when I say Miami, I usually don't say my. I say South Beach. She left no, that that's out. True. Okay? That's true. You don't say Miami. You yeah. say South Beach. All right? So those are the yeah. two things. Okay. But overall, not bad. Not bad, not no, bad, not bad, not bad. Yeah, I'll, I'll you know, she, yeah, she just did. I was that, watching. But... I was watching while I was in the islands. I was mm. watching while I was in the islands. Yeah, I Very was nice. entertained. I must. Yeah. I must. Confess. He was like was box office check. I say I that. Check. All right, I'm yeah. being told we got. to But you know going. what that means, right? You know what that means, right, Molly? You know what, what? that means, right, Molly? What? Monica McNutt. There's an imitation of you coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> Get it, Brick. That we know fun. you can act. Stephen A is a thespian, too, <laughs> yeah, so be careful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Monica. The Lakers have lost Brick! six straight. Brick! Yeah, I know Brick. I know about him. I watch him. Are now 11th in the West, barely hanging on for playing for tonight. They have a tough one. Basing the team with the best record in the NBA. Last season's Western Conference champs, the Phoenix Suns. Anthony Davis frustrated with all the talk. He's missed 37 games this season, telling the LA Times, this is what I've learned about injuries. Last year when I wasn't playing, people were saying, AD's given up on his team. It's the playoffs. AD has to play. He's got to play. And when I went out there to play, got hurt again, they said, who is this trainer? Who let him play? So what the bleep do you want me to do? When I play, it's a problem. It's a problem when I don't play. These aren't little ticky-tack injuries. Stephen A. Smith. Does Anthony Davis have a point, or is he missing it? He's missing it. Um, and I say that respectfully. I got a lot of love for Anthony Davis. I think he's a hell of a player. I think when healthy, he's in a conversation as one, as one of the top five players in the world, clearly a top ten player from a talent perspective. He's big time, all right? But he's injury prone. And the thing, that, the, thing that part of that, the thing about it that he's missing, the Charles Barkleys of the world calling him street clothes and stuff like that, it <laughs> might rake his nerves or whatever, but no one has ever said he can't play. No one has ever said he's not a star. What we've said is you're injury prone, and that happens to be factual. Now, this, these injuries this year are freak injuries. Could have happened to anybody. LeBron James pushing a player into the back of his legs inadvertently, that, that forced him to miss 10 games. Him coming down on Rudy Gobert's foot that forced him to miss a, a month and a half. He's absolutely right. That could happen to anybody. The problem that Anthony Davis has to live with, that his wife, his family, his loved ones, his teammates, nobody can absolve him from, is that no one's labeled him that way because of this year. You have a history of repeatedly being injured. And after, you know, the bubble play and what have you, you spent the offseason not getting in shape. You spent the offseason, according to the reports, getting yourself conditioned to avoid injuries. And you were unsuccessful in doing that too. And so as a result of it, folks are looking at you, not saying you can't play, not saying that you're not a star. We know there's no way in hell that if Anthony Davis is 100% that the Lakers are 16 games under 500. We know better, okay? Because he's too great for something like that to happen. But those injuries do matter. And when a guy is your teammate who's considered the second greatest player who ever played the game, who is 37 years of age in his 19th season, and even though he's had some injuries, is still healthier than you at 37 in his 19th year in the league. He has still missed less games than you. And he desperately needed you in order to win. 
you're going to have people that look at you and just say, damn, it ain't because they don't respect you. It ain't because they don't respect your greatness. It's because they know how great you are. And they know if you were available, we wouldn't look at the Lakers as the horror show that they have been this year. It's that simple. And that's not something to go home about or be upset about and throw and, 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 and you know, complain about. It's something that you have to accept because you can't stay healthy, even though it's not your fault. You know, it, it's interesting when you speak of AD and you speak of the injuries to me because his injuries aren't soft tissue injuries. Then he's not running down the court all of a sudden, straining his hamstring, tearing the meat off his quad bone, not, nothing like that. It's like freak accidents. My biggest problem with him being a Laker fan right. and just being a fan of basketball and sports in general, especially a Laker fan, you know how I feel about that, is I want to see him play, period. I had injuries in football, and I've been around football players that had catastrophic injuries, but somehow, they figured out how to still get back on the field. And so that's my only thing. Who is your physical therapist trainer? Who gives you the PT that you need? What are they doing to get you back on the court? I understand what he said in his quote. And who's his trainer? Damn if I do, damn if I don't. What, what, you know, what am I going to be able to do? Do something, though. I don't know what the something is, but when you have an ankle sprain, a little knee, all of a sudden an MCL sprain, a little shoulder sprain, Go get the necessary treatment if it takes 24 hours, seven days a week to get it. I've seen it done. It's not him quitting on his team. It's none of that, Monica. Nothing at all whatsoever, Stephen A., about quitting on your team. It's about the will. Magic Johnson was on my radio show yesterday, and he said Anthony Davis is going to still be in this situation until he decides that he wants to do it. And that's what I take from that. It's interesting, y'all, because I was struck by sort of the acknowledgement of the noise of, by this quote, right? He feels that he's damned if he does, damned if he don't, doesn't. That's an excellent um, synopsis key. But to me, you are listening to people, and only you know what is happening in your body. The machine, this conversation, this show, radio shows, key radio show, is never going to stop. But to your point, Stephen A., no one has ever questioned his talent when he is healthy. So just to bring all of this back home, to me, I do not understand why he's on the court right now. I understand he had a great game the other day. But the idea, to me, that this Lakers team is going to probably look pretty similar, at least AD and LeBron James, we probably can bet on, will be back next year. Why not take the opportunity to get healthy for next year because of your injury history? To me, that well, would have been the smartest play moving forward. But you got to, ultimately, as a player, and every player knows this, you got to do what works best for you because the conversation around you is never going to end. Right. But, but, but Monica, let's not get it twisted. Anthony Davis is listening to the noise because he knows the noise ain't just about this year. He can sit up there and give quotes to the L.A. Times all he wants to about it being about this year. When you're talking about Anthony Davis and his injuries, you ain't talking about this year. Right. You're talking you know? about historically injured individuals. And there have been reports that have questioned what he's doing in the offseason, as is the case with a lot of these players. What people are looking at, Keyshawn and Monica, you know they're in the gym. You know they're working out. But some dudes need to actually be working on their game, and other dudes need to be working on strengthening themselves to make sure they can endure the grueling 82-game schedule and beyond that they know are forthcoming. If you are an audience, a crowd, here's what you can say to the players because evidently a lot of them are not hearing this. When we pay our money to walk through the turnstiles, to watch you play, Shouldn't we have an expectation that we're going to see you on the court? You have players today that walk around and act like they don't have the right to have that expectation. And that's what's most alarming. At some point in time, rather than being a mad at everybody else, when are you going to sit up there and go like this? You know, you know Keyshawn, you know what all, all Anthony Davis had to do? Because, again, I love the brother. Anthony Davis is a good brother, man, and a great player. Let me tell you something. This is all Anthony Davis had to do. Damn. I can't stay healthy. This but is see, driving me but crazy. But see, Stephen A. I, I'm if, doing if, everything if was, I can. That's all you have to do. Tissue, though. That's all you have to I, do. 
But if, he, if it was soft tissue, then I would say it's the off-season conditioning and working out. It's the stepping on the foot of another player twisting an ankle. It's the bumping of yeah, but that's a player's knee. About that. no, but, that, but that's why he's missing. It's not soft tissue. If it was soft tissue, then I would worry about him bulking up and looking like LeBron James. And, and, and if he was, if that was the issue, it's freak accidents that he's not coming back from. But the recovery that's time, what it is. the recovery time doesn't concern you, Keith. Like, th I guess that's the next iteration. Like some guys bounce back from a rolled ankle or a bump knee quicker, and we know that when AD gets a nick, it's not a nick. To his point, they are real injuries. <laughs> it just he's got he's down for the count for a minute. I mean, <laughs> I know they we got you go. again. No, she made me laugh. Key, they got no, you she again. She made me laugh because she said he's down for the count. Up. And I was watching the game a while ago, and he hit the deck, and I was like, you, I'm, oh, I'm saying, you literally man, be like, oh go. no, oh no, please Monica, no. Oh. You got him. It's all good. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. It's all good. We'll leave it there. The last time the Lakers made the playoffs with a below 500 record, it was 30 years ago. We will keep it rolling. Monica, thank you so much for being here. We're talking about practice. Tiger looking sharp during practice rounds at Augusta Nationals. So does that mean he's playing in this season?